Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So yes, my eyes are fully done right now. I'm currently in the middle of filming a holiday makeup look for TikTok. So if you're not following me on TikTok, make sure you are at Danielle Blends. But anyways, I'm really, really excited for today's video because in case you didn't notice, there is an Ulta bag sitting behind me. So years ago, if you guys are like, OGs oh, or whatever you guys know that cover FX in my opinion at least used to like low-key like rule the game I feel like every time cover FX came out with a product like everybody was talking about it it was like reviews were everywhere and I used to love cover FX so I picked up three of their items I picked up this was like my favorite item ever the cover FX perfect setting powder I used to use this all the time. This and Laura Mercier were the two that I used like nonstop. And then the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. I used to obsess, like obsess over this concealer. Now, however, this next product I've never tried before. This is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I've never tried this before, but I am really, really, really excited to try this because I used to love the concealer and I used to love the powders. I want to like retest and see if I still love it to see if Cover Effects is still like a game changer. Okay, so that's what today's video is going to be. I'm going to be testing to see if Cover Effects still like kills the game. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into this video. So I pinned my hair back, and yes, I am wearing lashes right now. Literally, I love how lashes look, but the reason I don't wear them, like, ever is because putting them on is such a process. Like, it probably took me 15 minutes. By the way, I'm just priming my face. So about 15 minutes to put lashes on, and like I said, I love how they look, but the process is just a freaking nightmare so oh it's so annoying and I actually never feel like the band is fully on I just kind of feel like they're like sitting there so if they're sitting there like let me know if you guys can tell if they're sitting there I don't know if you can even tell I can't even tell so who knows who can even tell anyways all right so I'm gonna start off with the foundation obviously so I just primed using this Ola Henriksen banana bright primer so I picked mine up in the shade G20 Ulta didn't really have that much stock this used to be sold at Sephora and I don't know why they got rid of it rumor was I think they were they transitioned it out for rare beauty or something like that but I'm not 100% sure but like I said I've never tried this foundation so I'm really really excited so it's a really nice packaging I like that it's like a little squeezy bottle Ooh, okay like I said I got mine in the shade G20 I don't actually don't even know if I said that all right, so, I, oh, I just covered it up, but I don't know if you guys noticed, but there was a big, like, red pimple happening. You guys, I've been under, like, not under, but, like, I've been having a lot of, like, really, really, really bad anxiety lately, so my skin is really suffering from it. Like, I don't know how to help my anxiety, but it's just been, like, on another level. By the way, I'm just uh, putting whatever I feel like I need. I don't really know if this is full coverage or not. Is this full coverage? Long wearing liquid foundation, high pigment, buildable medium to full coverage. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna go in with my Merit Beauty buffing brush, and I'm gonna press this into my skin. But yeah, my anxiety has been on like level 30. Not I can't even say 10 because it's just been so completely out of control these days. It's it is ridiculous. So my skin is definitely suffering from it. So this is actually covering my skin really nicely. You can almost barely even see the pimple that I have happening on my skin. It definitely is not like a luminous foundation. It's more on the drier side. So I'm actually going to switch to my sponge and use my sponge for the remainder, remainder, for the remaining, for the rest of my face. Okay, let me just say that. Yeah, okay, so this foundation is definitely more on the drier side. It's not like a luminous foundation because it's a little hard to blend right now. So even with the sponge. So this is definitely more on the matte side, like for sure. And it is more medium. So it did like conceal the blemish right here, but it didn't do like a great job at really covering everything. And it is, like I said, a drier formula. So I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, 
I do have dry skin, so me and like more matte to drier formulas don't really like get along all that good. So anyways, I'm going to move on to concealer. This concealer used to be one of my favorites. Let me show you guys the applicator. I used to love it. It's like a little ballpoint applicator. It's not like your typical applicator. It's super different. I'm actually going to pop some right over that blemish. All right, so I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes and I'm gonna use this to cover up more on my nose too and then my chin so curious to see like if I still love this concealer I don't remember why I stopped using it oh I think I think it could be wrong I think I discovered the Jouer one and I used that one for like a hot minute and I think that could honestly be why all right so I'm gonna start buffing out underneath my eyes Go back and forth. Okay, that's concealing really, really nicely. I think it covered really nicely, so now I'm gonna quickly contour. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand to really warm up the face and to contour. Now I'm gonna move on to powder, you guys. I'm so excited for this powder. Like I said, it was literally like my go-to. Setting. Oh my god, a lot just came out. It was my go-to setting powder, especially if I'm underneath my eyes. So I'm super excited. <clears throat> I think I just got powder down my throat. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm just going to go back underneath my eyes and just smooth out. And increasing, by the way, considering... Oh wait, minute, never mind. Uh, kind of. Considering I've been sitting here for like 5 to 7 minutes, like doing my contour and my blush, the concealer did increase all that much. Like it creased a little bit more on this eye. Than it did on this side but this eye is always a freaking creasy mess but yeah i'm just smoothing out all of the creases you never ever want to go in and set your under eyes without smoothing out your creases first because then you would just set the creases and then it'll just look like a hot mess so always go in and just smooth out any of those creases i'm going to take my sponge and dip it into the powder and just set underneath While that's baking, I'm quickly going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm just going to comb through them. Now I'm going to go ahead and wipe away the powder. I'm so excited to see how it looks. I'm not even going to look up close yet. I'm just going to keep wiping away the powder. It didn't start to feel dry underneath my eyes, which I really, really like. Because sometimes even powders that I love, they'll start to feel a little bit dry underneath my eyes. By the way, I'm just taking my sponge and going back underneath my eyes to pick up any powder and just to make sure that everything is smooth. Oh my God, do you guys see how smooth my under eyes look? Ooh. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish my TikTok for my eyes and then I'll be right back to show you guys how everything looks and give you my thoughts. But so far, I think, I think I'm really into the concealer and the powder. The foundation, I'm not sure yet, but hang tight and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I went ahead and finished up the rest of my makeup and honestly, I'm loving, like I'm having a love affair with my makeup right now, but I have some thoughts for you guys. All right, so first let's start with the foundation. Um, I don't think that you guys necessarily need this foundation. I don't think it's like, oh my God, amazing, but that is because it is more of a drier formula and I am more dry skin. So it didn't really mix too well with my skin type. Like it doesn't look horrible at all. Like if you really, really look close, I think it looks pretty good and it's more of like a medium coverage and it definitely makes your skin look more natural. So I think if you are more on like the oily side, um, I think you may really, really like this foundation because like I said, it did dry. Oh my God, I have like these hairs in the front of my head that never know like what to do with themselves like I'm so tempted to just like cut them off but like I know that I'll regret that but anyways yeah I definitely think if you have oilier skin this will definitely work for you like I said it did dry down pretty pretty quickly while I was blending it out so even with my beauty blender it was a little hard to kind of like get it to blend into my skin but we did make it work as far as the concealer goes I'm loving it I'm seriously obsessing over it and I can't wait to wear it more and try it with other foundations and I definitely want to try it like on its own because when I go to work during the week I don't wear foundation I really just only wear concealer and that's it so I'm really interested to see how it looks on its own 
And as far as the powder goes, um, I think it did a great job at setting underneath my eyes. Like, what do you guys think? I think it looks flawless. I feel like Marilyn Monroe with this freaking pimple right here is just like living its best life. And it's like one of those like under the skin ones where like you can't like pop it. Oh my God. So freaking frustrating. But um, yeah, so I definitely really like the concealer and the powder. Like I said, I used to love them back in the day. So trying them again and like remembering like why I love them always makes me like feel good. I love revisiting old products and like being like, all right, like I really still love this. Like it always just makes me feel really good. I don't know why. It's just like a fun feeling. But yeah, so that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know if you guys still use cover effects. Do you even care about cover effects? Because like I said in the beginning, I feel like cover effects like used to kill the game and now it's just kind of like tossed to the side when it's a shame because this concealer is so good and so is the powder. But yeah, so that is all I have for you guys in today's video. Please do not forget to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe and I will hopefully catch you guys in my next video. Bye!